Hi, Kenya. How are you, girl? Hi, Kenya. Hi, baby girl. Hello, how are you? Pretty good. Thank you so much for asking about yourself. Much better? Welcome. Yeah. Yeah. Andresita, hey, what happened? I cannot see your face. Uh, okay. Yeah, much better. Oh, I like your blouse. Oh, I like the color. You. Yeah, it's so beautiful because it's a red color. Yeah, like oh, fashion. Yes, exactly. <laughs> you know, ladies' girl color, right? Red. Yeah. Is is that your favorite color? Mm, I don't have favorite color. You do not have yeah. a favorite color. No, all the colors are beautiful for me. Yeah, all of them are beautiful. But but, I, but do you feel like there's one color that you feel more identify with? No. No. <laughs> Oh, that's interesting. You know what? You're one of the first person, or I think the first person that I know that it doesn't have a, a favorite color. <laughs> yes, weird. I don't know what. No, no, but that's okay. If you don't, you don't. Yeah. <laughs> There's nothing else that we can do, right? <laughs> right. No, oh, I, I really, wow, it's interesting that you don't have a favorite color. But, um, but think about it in your closet. Take a, a, a quick view in your mind with your closet. What, uh, which of them, you know, what is the most uh, frequently popular co color in your closet? Mm. Do you have more green or red or black? I don't know, but blue, white? Pink and black. Pink and black? Yes. <laughs> oh my God, you got two light and dark size. I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, that's nice. That's why I need the shoes. Yeah. What about <laughs> white? Yes. You do have white? Oh, yes. I think <laughs> I only have two white clothes. Really? You don't yeah. like it? To be honest with you, it's not that I don't like it. It's because uh, it's really hard for me to find like a fabric or a design that looks good in white. For example, I, I spent like more than five years or more than that uh, without having a one, even one piece, even one piece. The, the only white one that it was, it was my wedding dress. And then, but after that, I found a really, a really long, long um, skirt. But what is the fabric? Manta, remember Manta? Yeah, which is really fresh. I love it. So I it was for a long time until finally gets a hold, right? A really hold because I use it a lot and I wash it a lot. <laughs> so finally, like disappears. And now, yesterday I was wearing a, a white shirt, a white blouse. Remember that? Yesterday I was wearing a black, white blouse, and finally I have found uh, in a taco I bought a, a white manta dress. Oh. Oh, but I like it. I like it. so. I think it's, it's yeah. yeah, it's a third piece. But actually, I love I love um, mm -hmm. mantas kind of clothes because it's really fresh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Especially for this weather. Oh yeah. Last few days. Ooh. This weather conditions. One day it's raining. One day it's hot. Today has been a really hot day. <laughs> And we cannot imagine. You know what? I thought it would be just you and me, me and you. But guess what? Josh is here. Blank is here. Andresito is here. IT department, Mr. Fernandez is here. And uh, William is here. Madeline is here. And Erwin and Blanky. So uh, never mind. Sorry, Kenny. It was supposed to be a one-on-one -on -one session, but you know what? These guys, these guys lost me. So I don't know. Uh, they decided to to join today's closet, and uh, there's nothing else that we can do about it, right? Yeah, they say we miss a teacher. We love the teacher, so we gotta be with her on today's class, no matter what. What they say, you know what? They'll meet this join today's class as well. I do have Doris also, so that's cool. Hey guys, you look more relaxed and less sleepy than yesterday, right? 
<laughs> I think you are like Garfield. Garfield hates Mondays, right? Remember that? And he loves lasagna, but he hates Mondays. Ugh. I hate Monday too. Ah, no, 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 no. Today, there was my, you know what? It was my spa day because I went to do my nails and my fit. Yeah, yeah. That's what I love, being a girl, right? Yeah, I love to be a girl. Yeah. You know what? I don't know about you girls, but I'm the person who, of course, you work, right? And you, you need to save money and you need to support your family, et cetera. But at the same time, I remember one of my, uh, the lessons that my, mom, my mama left me is that sometimes you need to dedicate some time for yourself as a girl. So I, I said to my husband, you know what? I'm on vacation. So this is my day. So yes, I, this is my day. I went to a uh, pamper myself. I did my nails and my fit. I broke my diet because I ate a hamburger today with French fries and Zoda. Can you imagine? I was like, <gasps> but I, 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 my, my belly and my, and my body want to have a hamburger. So like, let's try for hamburger. And a matcha, matcha tea. Ooh. <sighs> and then I fall asleep and I woke up. Oh my God, that was really nice. It was a really nice, relaxed day for me. I love it. I like to pamper myself sometimes. I deserve it. That's nice to be a woman, right? That we can like. <laughs> you are beautiful today. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love to do my like, most of the time, guys. It's not that I spend in salons like every month. Like, oh, she has money, right? No, it's not that. Uh, I say money. I say money. And once a month or uh, once in a couple of months. I go to the salon to do my nails and my fit because most of the time I do it at home because I love to do it at home. I do have everything to do it at home. But today I decided to go there. That was my day. Yes. That's what I love to be a woman. Yes. Right, Elmita? It's nice to be a woman. And the boys Obviously. like a girl that also uh, <laughs> take care of themselves, right, guys? We need to take care of ourselves. Yes. I remember my brother said the first thing that I that I watch in a woman are their fit. Why I said? Why I ask him? Because if they if their fit are they don't have to be like painted. He said it could be painted better, but as long as the fit looks clean and elegant, that's the woman that takes time to take care of herself you will have, be a good woman to take care of families he said and i was like okay that's good that was interesting yeah so i i it was my pamper day hey what about you girls do you take some time to go and pamper yourself or boys hey tell us about that about that, about that. Uh, mm, william i want to know something because I love your backgrounds. I love your backgrounds by heart. Now we are in a, still on the beach or in a lagoon, I think, but in a different side. Is a beach or a lagoon? I don't know. I, you don't know? I, I think it's a lagoon it. actually. But tell, yeah. tell us, share with the group, what would be a perfect day on William's side? What would be a, a day for you, a, a pamper day for you? What would, what would you do? We will have a day off just for yourself. What would you do? Uh, and spend my time uh, on the beach. On the beach with a coconut. Yeah. yeah. And a fry fish. Mm. Yeah, and eat some seafood. Seafood. Ooh, like yeah. what, for example? Shrimps. Oh yeah. My favorite. Yes. Your favorite shrimps. Some beer. Okay. The coldest ones, okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, ah, and learn surf, maybe. Learn surf? Oh, that's cool. Yeah. And listen, in the summertime, where the weather is fine, right? Ooh, ooh. Yeah. All right, yeah. <laughs> that's cool. That would be a perfect day for oh. you. 
Yeah. Cool. That's okay. That's nice. Uh, what about you, Telmita? What will be a perfect day for my beautiful lady? Well, <laughs> resting in my bed. Really? The whole day? Yes, I love sleep. Me too. You are yeah. a bird. <laughs> yes, and writing. Writing? Yes, oh. yes. Uh, already, uh, um, I was reading um, uh, a really? short story. Or writing, writing, writing. Ah, writing, writing a short story. A short story. Hey. Um, and about my um, my your cat. experience. Oh, your experience. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, that's great. Uh, it's it's uh, it's like a adventures and oh yeah that would be really interesting to read you know yes yes hey when it you finish share so with us uh no still no 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 i know but when, when you have finished it share with us oh that would be really interesting to listen to mm. if it's possible if not that's okay hey, don't worry happened. about that it happened is a uh, um, um, concurso. Aha. Uh -huh. How do you say yes. that in English? Aha. Uh -huh. I know. Contest. 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 Okay. Very good, Blanquita. Thank you. Contest. What? what? Contest. Contest. Yes. Uh, is a no, but don't liter tell the story. Literature contest. But, but yes. literature contest. Okay, but don't tell us the story until it finish. Oh we're going God. to wait we're going to wait okay hey but uh, so, mm -hmm. the 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 first title title a title uh-huh is uh, um my volados 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 what does it do mean you, do you know uh, do you know volados in salvador uh is it's like a will to me in favor is a volado <laughs> I didn't know that. So, uh, <laughs> you see, uh, I heard something my, girl, my 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 girlfriend is is my volado. So, uh, yeah. Oh, you, I got, now I got, it. Now, I got it. now I got it. it. Yeah, yeah, I did got it. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, uh, you so, see, check mark. So, New vocabulary for me. Okay. <laughs> It's, it's like this. Yeah, I mm. like it. Okay, I will I will be waiting for your story. It's really interesting. <laughs> yeah, it sounds really but cool. But it's in Spanish. Don't worry, that's okay. <laughs> it will I will increase my vocabulary, right? Well, you see, it's moving yeah, yes, It's a tradition. Oh, cool. It's a traditional language. <laughs> uh, is, is, a, is, is it an idiom? A... Yeah. Uh, yes. So you are like salary. Uh, Merlis, Merlis. Mm, that would be interesting. <laughs> Very good. So, a perfect day for you will be staying in bed the whole day and writing. That's cool. Yeah. All right. So, you see, we have two opposite things. Alexander will spend a whole day on the beach drinking beer, sherm, and learning surf, right? But tell me, this, we'll prefer to stay home. Oh, that's cool. What about you, IT department, Fernando? Will be a pivot for you. What will you do if you do have a just a moment for you, without nobody else, just you? Mm, one moment for me. Yes, but please, oh my God, I'm going to like. Ow. <laughs> yeah, one moment in time. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, I don't know what is happening with my. What will happen? Think about it. Use your imagination. Ah, uh, of course. Well, I, 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 am a, a, I am a simple man. My... You are a superman, you say. Yes, of no, course you simple, are. Simple, simple man. A simple man. I'm, I heard yes, you. Yes, uh, I am happy. I am happy in my house. Okay. Uh, playing FIFA. Or... FIFA? Ah, there's a video game? Yeah, video game. So okay. Go out, go out with my friends to, to maybe have a dinner or play a soccer match. Okay. That makes makes me happy. That makes you happy. Yeah. Ooh, that's nice. All right, it's a tough, totally easy, different easy. situation. Yeah, easy peasy queasy. That's nice. 
What about Freddy's? Freddy's will be a perfect day for you. A perfect day for me. A perfect day for you that you can pamper yourself. Mm, sit back and relax, watch a movie, play some video games. Nobody, nobody bothering me. Like who? Anybody. If I can ask, of course. That would be <laughs> anybody close to me. Just anybody close, myself. including yeah. the pet. Okay. Yeah. No noise around me. No noise around, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so oh, let me ask you. Space. Uh, so you will be, you would like to be alone? Yeah. Are, are you a lonely person sometimes? Yeah. Uh -huh, interesting. So you don't, would you like to stay, if you, if you decided, for example, to be in a room, would you like to stay with Fernando, with Willie, or with Thelma so far? Well, no. <laughs> with no one, okay. No, so you know what? Stay away from me, guys. Okay, that would be a perfect day for you. Okay, cool. Yeah. Aha, uh -huh, let me ask you now a good question. And what would you do? Um, if you left your home, your lunch at home, what would I do? Uh huh. Buy something. But if you do not have one, just wait until I get back home. Really? I've done yeah, I've done it before. You have done it before? Yeah. Oh. Really? Yeah. I no way. Not even a glass of water. Yeah, I have done it before. <gasps> Woof. That happens to me one time when I was at the airport. That was For horrible. Really? Yes. <laughs> I, because I couldn't go shopping. Because I, since I do not have like um, a specific jacket, right? That is like a security jacket, I cannot walk. So because they're going to stop me. And, uh, and I was ashamed to send like a text message to one of my students that please bring me something and I will buy it and I will pay it back for you. Because that time <laughs> I, I arrived at on time, but for security reasons, so I had to like be like waiting for the security guy for a couple of minutes, right? More than 10 minutes. And then I got to wait for somebody to pick me up where I was and to just drive me directly to the classroom. So I couldn't have time to go to the ATM and get some cash. So I just had a, a CZ with me. CZ is credit card guys for the abbreviation. So like, how am I going to pay this guy back if I don't have cash? So I was like, <laughs> but I remember <laughs> that I was that I had like a nutritional bar on my back. <laughs> so that was my lunch. <laughs> oh my god! Well, at least that in a glass of water, which was really good. All right, now tell me something. Thank you, Freddie. Now, Doris, I want to ask a question. Um, what would you do if your alarm didn't go off and you overslept? Could you repeat, please? Yeah. What would you do if your alarm, alarm, you mean the ring, that the one that helps you to wake up, if your alarm didn't go off and you overslept? Um. What will happen to me? I, so. I, ah, <laughs> you, will, you will tell me a, a, about it later on, but I want to listen. Uh, babe. Doris Blanquita. Uh, I, I don't go. <laughs> yeah. You don't worry? Why not? No, I know have a, a, a schedule. Uh, ah, that's nice. Okay. Yeah. You don't have a specific, uh, like a fixed schedule. When, guys, yeah. when you work for an, Time to time, you have a fixed set of schedule. In this case, Dori has a flexible schedule. A flexible schedule. Oh, that's interesting to know. Mm -hmm. That was awesome. So you don't have to worry about that. But what yeah. about Blanky? Because Blanky said that had happened to her once. So tell us about it. What happened, Blanky? Uh, okay, that's happened a lot to me. A and lot? I, 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 I,
I always call to the office and tell them that I'm gonna be late. <laughs> okay, but but what happened? But uh, for once in a while, did you forget to send like a text message that you will be late? No, or no? Or you always send a text message mm -hmm. just to let them know? No, I always I always call them. I prefer ah, to call. Okay. Yeah, I prefer to call, but sometimes, well, I, I, I work on a sales and sometimes I call them and tell them that I'm going to take a, a different route and I'm going to be on the office. Ah, so okay. That gives me time to prepare and, and I start with the, with my, with my visits. Ah, uh, okay. So that's good. But if you that happens so frequently, <laughs> in my case, I, yeah, I, I, uh, I think I would have fire already. We got fire already. Like, you know, in, baby. In mm -mm. my case, in huh? my case uh, it's not that my alarm doesn't sound. Uh -huh. It's like um, I postpone, postpone. <laughs> Oh, yeah, you put some pause on. <laughs> You're like five minutes more. Five minutes more. I know. Yeah, and that, and that's why. <laughs> and time more ended up in being like 20 or a half hour, right? <laughs> that's good, you know, but it's, at least she's honest. She admitted that it had happened to her. All righty. What about, thank you, Glen Blanky. What about you, Madeline? I want to hear you something. I want to ask you a specific question and I want to listen to you. What would you do if you found a gigantic or a huge black beetle on your bedroom wall? A huge, Indeed. big black beetle. Or if you, well, put, let's not put beetle, but put a, a cockroach. Ah. <laughs> ah, imagine the huge one. Yeah, I don't know, guys, if you have visited Santana, but, but I remember in my on my grandpa's house, there were like a huge, and I mean, a huge cockroach. There were no black color. Yeah, they were like the white one. Yeah, Delvita. And they could fly like. <laughs> <was> like ah! <laughs> so what would you do if you found a big cockroach on your bedroom wall? What would you do? Uh, I will run away. <laughs> I, I, I could imagine that. <laughs> and cry. <laughs> and cry? No. Oh. Yeah, I don't like, I hate that. You hate that them? Animal, yeah. <laughs> I, will, I will kill her or kill them and then I will play soccer with them. <laughs> I call someone to, to help me. <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah of course. <laughs> That would be interesting. Thank you, Madeline. Uh, let me double check. Um, Joshi, I want to hear you. Um, okay. Um, I don't know if that had happens to you, if you have gone to visit a friend, a relative, or is um, a meeting of, from work. I don't know. But tell me something. What would you do if you didn't like what was for dinner? Well, it happened to me. And that happens to you? Yes, in a friend's house. And what happened? What it, did you do? <laughs> I eat it. You ate it? I, yes, but how do you say vomitar, teacher? I already forgot. Throw out. <laughs> I throw out. Some when? minutes before. Ah, uh, uh, at after, your friend's yes. house? Uh, yes, but it the was. Bathroom, uh, of course. Yes, they didn't. They didn't show up. That they didn't notice because I do it with so carefully. I uh, just mentioned how come uh, you you were like uh, and, and 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 there was no notice about it. Come on, come. How come you put some silent up? No. Uh, yes, there was some silence, but believe me, I don't eat fish. You don't eat what? I don't eat fish. Fish. I used to eat it. Yes. Uh -huh. But, but now I, I, but why I not? Can't. I don't know. I used to eat it when I was a teenager and a child, but I don't know if there is a problem with my stomach or something. But Maybe. every time I try to eat, and I have been trying, believe me, uh -huh. because I really like it. It's delicious, to be honest. The smell, 
Uh, but in this case, yeah, I, I can eat. Uh, there couldn't. is no problem for that. Uh -huh. Yes, I can. I can do it. Ah, you but can. Later, ah. yes, but later, I used to throw up. Wow. Time, yes. And it doesn't matter how they prepare it? Um, it doesn't matter how the way I used to throw it. Ah. So it is the yes. fish itself. Uh, yes, it's a fish Ooh. because I have been trying uh, any other, for example, preparations. Uh, uh -huh. Oh, another uh, seafood. Uh, uh, cheers or any Chirps? other. Uh, yes, and uh -huh. I can back fish. I don't know what happened, but I used to throw up. <laughs> yes. Ooh, I'm sorry to hear that. And I'm sorry to hear that you like it, but you cannot support it. Or maybe your, your, your tummy doesn't like it anymore. I don't know. There should be something. Yes, I have been trying to find the cure for that, believe me, but I can't find it. Maybe when you get know. pregnant, that will be something else. <laughs> I just did. Mm, no. <laughs> no, I, not I, anymore. I, only one baby. Okay. Not anymore. And only one man. Remember, guys? Only yeah. one. The one and only. The, the one and only. <laughs> yes, you are oh, yeah, I remember that. You know what? Today was my fun day. So today the teacher is a little bit crazy than oh, normally. Nice. Let's have fun. <laughs> yeah, let's have fun. All right, let me double check who else. Jesse, what about you, Jesse? I want to listen to you. Um, what do you have done or what you have done if you got caught in a rain without an umbrella? Oh, there's some last year I think it happened. Uh, I think it happened that really, but yeah. I was driving my motorcycle. Ah, you were, you were, uh, your motorcycle? Oh yeah. my God. <laughs> you got completely wet. Excuse me? You got completely wet. Yeah, yeah, completely, completely. Just um, I, 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 when I come, when I mm -hmm. came to my home, you came back I home? just yeah. take, take a shower. You took a shower. Okay. Yeah, I took a shower. Yeah, but <sighs> it, it wasn't. <laughs> Wow. Yeah. Mm -mm. Ah, okay. <laughs> I'm sorry that had happens to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. Let me ask you something. Who loves ice cream? Me. You. Yeah. And Joshi too. Who but, else? Ice cream. But just uh, Boston. Oh, you excuse me. Oh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. 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 I love me chocana, right? So you know. <laughs> yeah. Those are really nice ones. Yeah. Oh yeah. I love the them. Yeah. Which is the one? Uh how would you say that? Ah, pistachio. I love it. Yeah. Ooh. Pistachio. It's really nice. And violet too. Mm. So talking about that and the ones that answer that they love ice cream. So tell me, what would you have done if your ice cream fell on the ground right after you bought it? What can I do? Buy another one. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's good yes. if you have money. What about you, Freddie? You will like grab it and put it back in it. <laughs> no, <laughs> that's a good idea, right? <laughs> but depends if you had ground, for example, fell out on the grass, but it fell out on the street. Well, what will you have done? It fell out on what? On the street, on the corner, I don't know, on, on the ground. Yes. If it's in a bottle, I will kick it. If but if it's just, in a con? If it's a con, step on it. <laughs> step on it? <laughs> Don't let it down, it. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh my God. Uh -huh. <laughs> it, guys, I don't know. How many of you have taken the, the public transportation? At least once in a while or every single day. I don't know. Uh -huh. Yeah, right. All of you yeah. depends yeah. on where you yeah. go, right? And, yeah. and some of you like know like the route of the destination, like the 44, number 5, 35, 10, etc. 
and the interdepartmental ones, like for example, Freddy's, right? That he has to go exactly to like a Cajutla. So, but tell me something. I don't know if that had happened to you before, but I just want to know um, something. What would you have done if you got off at the wrong bus stop? I don't know if that had happened, but that had happened to me. <laughs> the poor teacher. <laughs> yes. What? Yeah. First of all, I I get afraid. You got afraid? Why? Uh, in this country, it's very dangerous in everywhere. So first of all, I I search the same bus that I took uh, when I took off the the, the bus. Uh -huh, you can ask the best. In the in the other way. Uh huh. In the opposite way. Yeah, yeah. In the opposite way. Yeah. So I cross the street and take the the same bus and uh -huh. get back to my to my. I don't know how to say to, to my stop. To your region destination. Yeah. You will get lucky if nothing happens to you. But what? You will get lucky if nothing happens to her. Yeah. You will get lucky, but for example, especially if you arrive to a place that you don't know where is it, right? Because that happens to me. That happened to me before, and I almost got killed. Really? Oh, yeah. oh my God, I'm sorry to hear that. But well, thanks God that nothing happens to you. In, uh, it was in San Salvador in a place called Santísima Trinidad. Oh my God, I know what it is. And which bus by any chance did you take? was 44 the 44 right the micro bus yeah oh oh my god hi freddy's Oof. that was a long time ago last year for me, oh my that god. i live living in in, in san salvador mm -hmm. even for me it's dangerous yeah <laughs> it is santissima trinidad oh yes it is and, and, and you you don't know if you are able to ask somebody, right? Because there are some places that you can ask for guidelines, right? But there are some places that you, you cannot ask for guidelines or you cannot like get out or take out uh, your cell phone from, the, from your bag because as soon as you take out, somebody grab it, right? In my case, I, they made me get off from the microwave. Really? Yeah, some gang members. Oh my God. I'm sorry for that, but thanks God that nothing happens to you, that you're still here. Oh my God. I'm sorry, Freddy. Now let me ask you something. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, uh. <laughs> this is going to be so much fun. I promise, guys, that will be the last question that I will formulate to you. What would you have done if, if you were like taking a shower and the water was cut off right in the middle of a shower? And you were like, nah, da, da, na, na, na. and then whoop, click, suddenly, no more water. What will you do? If you are completely with soak and shampoo and everything, and you were like, you know what? And you were like, yeah, you were having so much fun, relaxed, and it was good. And then you're like, no more shower. Why? What would you have done? Get dry with the clothes. With a towel? Yeah, maybe. Okay, that's a good one. What else? I did that. <laughs> uh, yeah, really? That happens to you? Oh yeah. my God. And how I... did you resolve that problem? <laughs> I finished. I finished my my. I finished in the villa. The villa? <laughs> That's a good uh -huh. one. That's a good one. But imagine that you for that you cleaned it up the pila before, and there was there was no water there <laughs> because that happens, right? Yeah. So I I, I, prefer, I prefer use with, with crystal dogs. water. Uh-huh. You crystal water is one of the <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> that happened to me. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, that, that had happened to you guys, yeah, or no? That's me. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. 
<laughs> that's so much fun, right? Mm -hmm. I know, I know. I think everybody has passed that situation. <laughs> Let me ask something directly to Fernando. Fernando, you said that you love to play soccer and the playing soccer will be one of the best state of your life. What would you do if you kicked your soccer ball over the fence of an unfriendly neighbor? Uh, when we, we were playing, um, that happens to you, you see, I told you, I know, yeah. I knew it. <laughs> we, we used to, to shoot the, the, the ball to the, to the neighbors and sometimes always, uh, there, there are a, a neighbor that doesn't like that, that kind of, of play or, or, or doesn't like child, the children doesn't like the, nope. the, the boys, kids or something. It doesn't matter. You're not a kid anymore. You are a, an old grown man. Yes, but I, I am. You're a kid, of course. You have a kid you, inside. When, when I used to be a, a boy. I used to be a boy. You're still a boy. When you used to be, when, when you were younger. <laughs> a kid, a kid. When a I kid. Was, I was ah, young. Like, okay, I was, I was young. like, what? Okay. When, I, when, I, when, I was, when I was, I was young. And, and I was younger. Play. Younger yeah. because you're still gone, John. Come on, <laughs> you're 30, you're still John. Come on, right? Erwin, he's he's 30, he's a young man, right? And he said, When I was young, come on, when I was a, a, a kid, when I was a kid, when I was a baby boy, yes, but uh. <laughs> Always the, there is a neighbor that doesn't like kids and when we were shoot the ball to to her house. <laughs> and what did you do? Or his or his house. Uh, uh, they they You're didn't like, we, we, we didn't recover that ball or sometimes oh. <laughs> the ball the ball uh, we, we get we we recovered the, the ball but with a uh, uh, with a punch. With a punch, yes. <laughs> and uh, it, it, it's like, uh, don't play again okay, uh, here. Uh, near here, nearby my yeah, house. Yes. <laughs> hey, you will, you will think, why the teacher is just asking this bunch of questions, right? And everything, blah, 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 blah. Well, because I wanted to start in a fun way. One of the topics that we recently have seen, but I decided to like reinforce a little bit because it's, it's really, really important that you really understand this grammar part. But, but just the grammar part itself, nothing with the third, the first conditional because this one's already have been seen. But I just want to focus and reinforce what we have seen about could, would, and um and shoot in the past. Do you remember what was the name of that topic? You are really smart students. I just need only one answer, please, if you don't mind. Please, of course, don't buy between you. I know everybody wants to participate. In, I know that, but hold your horses, please. Hold your horses. I just need only one answer. I know. Can you repeat the question, please? Oh my, can you repeat the question? <gasps> All right. <laughs> no, I, I was asking you if we were already so third and um, first conditional, but remember that with some of them, uh, we had used could have, no, yes, could have, should have, or would have in the past. Do you remember what was the topic of by that modal, time? Modal verbs in past. Uh -huh. Yes, modal verbs in past, but it was like, a different way. You can say more than verbs in past. How do you say that? Your person conditional. Uh -uh. We already saw that, but no, it's not that. It's part of that. It's, it's like is past what? Model verbs. As model verbs, exactly. We have a lot of them, right? We have a lot. We have might. We have may. We had could. We had can't. We had out. We have should. Etc. But we focus on three of them. Remember what which one were them? Well, would, good, good, should, yeah. and oh. it could. Exactly. Oh. So three of them. Very good. Exactly. And do you remember that we also just use besides that we use one auxiliary verb? Remember what, which one was it? Oh. Have. Have. 
Exactly. So I decided to, we use it with a conditional, remember? But in this case, I decided just to focus on that part. Nothing to will do with conditional. Only focus on could have, should have, and would have today. Because I just wanted to reinforce it. And you know what? It's going to be in a fun way because um, we're going to put like sentences, examples, but regarding music, we're going to put sentences and examples about a movie that maybe that you have seen. Do you remember Forrest Gump? Have you seen Forrest Gump? Yeah. That's yeah. a really classic, a nice uh, movie, right? So we're going oh, to take, oh. like, yeah, we're going to take like, um, I don't know, a piece of information, a piece of sentence to help you with one of the past models. Do you, have you, I don't know if, if you listen like uh, 80s songs, but have you, uh, maybe Erwin, Maybe Erwin and Telmita, maybe they remember that. Do you remember Chicago Band? Yes. Yeah, remember that? Yeah, right, you see? Telmita, yes. Yes, I remember. And she started with a rhythm, right? <laughs> okay, so also we're going to use this part of one of the songs, which is basically help us to, to understand how we use those conditionals in the past. Because guys, conditionals in the past, um, it is really frequently to use in a daily basis, English speaking or native speaking is really common and we gotta learn how to use it. And also guys, I will give you like a clinch because sometimes, especially when they speak, sometimes they use the could, would, the should, would, and, and would have in a contracted way. Not only at the way of they write it, but at the same time, the way that they speak it was spoken. It, and it's really hard to detect it. So I'm just going to give it to you that little tip, extra tip, if I can say that. Remember Charlton Heston? The actor? Yes. Mm -hmm. He used to use, uh, oh, yeah, like that way. Because uh, there are some um, actors, especially old actors, that they used to have uh, this kind of weird pronunciation with the past models that is really, really important to learn how to use them, especially with that. Mm -hmm. Charlton Heston as well, Ooh, you cannot imagine. All righty, so I'm going to show you that in a moment. Uh, 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 um. And you will see that it will, after that, we're going to be, it's going to be really, 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 really more understandable or understand because guys, the past tense models are useful for expressing your present feelings about a past decision or a past action. For example, they work guys like a grammatical time machine and the simple past just tells what happened. So the model bells tells what could have, what would have, or what should have happened. That's what are the uh, past models really, really important. So I'm just gonna ask somebody who can help me right now. We're, today, we're going to practice not only the, um, to reinforce the topic, but at the same time to reinforce our pronunciation, because it's really pretty important the pronunciation and the intonation. I need to emphasize a lot of that because I want you to, to like improve your speaking. You have done a tremendous job so far. Congratulations. You have broke my heart that you cannot imagine. But I just want you to reinforce that part because I think all of you, one of the main skills is to improve your speaking, right? Yeah. Or no? That's why you're here for, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. And you know that, and I know that you love grandma, right? Mm -hmm. No grandma, grandma. <laughs> Which is different, no grandma, right? Grandma. Oh, okay, sorry, grammar right? Grammar for American style way. All right. But I'm not American style well native speaker. <laughs> I'm a <clears throat> British native, native speaker. Okay. So without further uh, interruption, I just need your information and I will need your help because I want you to help me read. That's one of the things that we were going to do right now. So let me double check the big thing. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
And Mr. Freddy, thank you so much for participating. I know that you are really a nice student and you're always willing to help me. So, Freddy, do me a favor. Could you please be so kind to read for me what is hi in highlighted? If you'd be so kind. Your microphone is off, sorry. I can read lips, but please. Okay. Don't you can <laughs> you can <laughs> narrate it. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, sir. Okay. To form these past models, use could, would, or should, followed by have, followed by a past participle verb. Use have for all pronouns. Never use has or have to form a past model. Now, okay, very good. This is really important. So you're going to use could, would, and should. Plus have. And of course, the past participle of the verb, right? Doesn't matter what kind of pronoun. Because remember in the past, when he, she, it, what happened with the verse? Remember that? In the present tense, what we would do if we have a third person? Had S or TS. Exactly. But in this case, no. If we're talking about past models, okay? This is a different scenario. Don't confuse. So we use could, should, and, and would, plus, what is, the, what is the verb that we use after that? Have and past have part in the past participle. Okay, then here are some examples. William, now that you have your microphone off, on, sorry, can you please be so kind to read for me the examples if you don't mind? Um, here are some examples. She could have gone to any college she wanted to. Uh, again, please. She could have gone to any college she wanted to. Again, please. Hi, teacher. Yes. Come on, teacher. Yeah, I know. No, come on. Come on, you. If you pronounce it correctly, <laughs> I will let you go. Okay, she could have gone to any college she wanted to or she wanted to. Ah, that's what I need. <laughs> oh, she wanted to. Uh, you see, you knew it. So it's terrible. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, she could have gone to any college she wanted to. She wanted to. Mm -hmm. Don't be afraid to, to pronounce it. She wanted to. She let's wanted speak. To. Yeah, let's, let's, I want, I want you to feel self-confidence. Go ahead. <clears throat> okay, she could have gone uh, to any college she wanted to. No, don't, 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 don't do pass. Don't pass. She could have gone to any college she wanted to. That's what I need. She wanted to. All together. Okay. Go ahead. She could have gone to any college she wanted to. Very good. That's what I need. Self-confidence. Continue. I would have gone to the party, but I was tired. Very good. And the last one? He should have told the truth about what he saw. Again, because you make a stop. Go ahead. Again. Okay. He should have told the truth about what he saw. Very good, excellent, very good. Okay, guys, we we have a three three different uh, scenarios because we have three different sentences, and not not all of them means the same. There are some like slightly difference between each of them. Okay, for example, the first one: she could have gone to any college she wanted to. What do you understand about that sentence? What does it mean for you? I just want any guess. Doesn't matter if you're right or doesn't matter if you're wrong. What does it mean for you? She could have gone to any college she wanted to. She could have left any college. Okay. okay, that's good. She can do it. Uh-huh. What about the second one? I would have gone to the party, but I was tired. What does it mean for you? Uh-huh. I would have I, gone to the party, but I was tired. What does it mean? Did you go to the party? She. Uh, I was tired. No, why not? I was tired. I was, I was tired. tired. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And the last one. He should have told the truth about what he saw. Did he tell the truth? No. No, mm. right? So no. that means that is an action that it was supposed to be the good action, but the person didn't do it, right? Uh -huh. all right exactly very good okay so right now so far so good 
Ready to move on? Ready to rock and roll? Yes. Ready to rock and roll? Ready to move on? Yes, yes. Yes. I don't feel it. I don't feel like you are with energy. So no way. I'm not gonna move. Yes, teacher. Are you sure? Yes. 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 Yes, yes teacher. <laughs> Fernando, do me a favor. Yes. Kill my ear. Are you ready to rock and roll, my man? Yes. Oh my God. Ooh, please, but don't take it too literally. All right. <laughs> All right, let's move on. Okay, the first one to double check could have. I think with this one, I'm gonna put it a little bit bigger for you to like uh, take a look much better. Is it much better now? Yes, right? Okay. Delmita, do me a favor. Can you press read for me the first the first paragraph if you don't mind? But put your microphone on if you don't mind. Thank you. <laughs> oh, your horses. Come on. <laughs> there you go. Uh-huh. The first one, only the first part of the first part, this one. When it says we'll start with a could have. Delmita. Delmita has a problem with the microphone, I think. Let's see. In the meantime, while well, she's fixing it. No, Telvita, can you hear us? Don't fall asleep, Erwin. Ha, we'll ask you. I catch on. No, I got my eyes on you. I got my eyes on you. Okay, I think Telvita has a problem right now with her microphone. So I need a second bowler to hear. Jesse, can you please be so kind to read it for me? Uh, which one? When it says, we'll start with could have. Yes, okay. that one, please. Okay. We'll start with could have. Could have means that something was possible in the past, but it did not happen. Okay, very good. So, hey, listen carefully. Could have means something was possible in the past, but it did not happen. That's weird. Okay, can you please read for me the paragraph or the sentence? I could have gone directly to college, but I decided to travel for, for a year. Uh, again. Again, almost Again. perfect. Go ahead, girl. I could have gone directly to college, but I decided to travel for a year. Again, only two words. You got a little bit better pronounce it, but you can do it. Okay. I could have gone directly to college. Uh -huh. Directly. Uh -huh. Directly to college. Uh -huh. But I decided to travel for a year. Uh -huh. One more time, but take listen to, listen carefully. Okay. I could have gone directly. Okay. To college, but I decided okay. to travel for a year. Decided. Directly. Go ahead. You can do can it. Can you repeat again, teacher? Which one? The first one? Yeah. Directly. 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 Okay. And decided. Ha! You haven't looked and watch the video about regular birth pronunciation, right? Yeah, Haven't yeah. you? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead. I could have gone directly to college, but I decided to travel a year, for uh, a year. Uh, again, for a year, you make a mistake, go ahead. Okay. <laughs> I could have gone directly to college, but I decided to travel for a year. Uh -uh. You didn't pronounce decided, go ahead. Decided. Okay. Again, you can do it, girl. I could have gone directly to college, but I decided to travel for a year. Very good. Good job. All righty. Thank you. Okay, stop there. Let's ask somebody else. Very good. Um, let's see. Madeline, can you please continue? Yes. And uh, listen to this song by um, 18, 19. Uh, 1980. No, 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 no. 19K? 80? 80s. Very good. Remember that you get the S at the end. So 1980s. 1980s. Then, uh, then teen. Teen pop star uh, Tiffany. Or Tiffany, yes, yeah, Tiffany. Tiffany. The singer is thinking about past possibilities uh, with her lost love. You see, guys, we, we use the past models in our daily basis. So do me a favor. Can you please read for me part of this song? 
Me. Yes, of course. Continue. Okay. Could have been so beautiful. Could have been so right. Could have been my lover every day of my life. Oh my God. <laughs> Do me a favor. Because this is, was a team pop star, Tiffany, right? So could you please be so kind to read this paragraph like with some kind of rhythm, some kind of music rhythm for me? <laughs> okay. Um, you know what? You I can don't move, know. And, yeah, of course. And you can move your head. Like, for example, could have been so beautiful, could have been so right, could have been my lover every day of my life. Oh, yeah, like that, right? I don't know. You can use your imagination. <laughs> you did perfectly. I, of course, I don't. I don't know. No, of course, I'm not. I'm, I'm not a good singer. So do your best. Uh, could have been so beautiful, could have been so right. Could have been my lover every day of my life. Oh my God. <laughs> Isn't it amazing, guys? Isn't she a, a pop star? That was cool, girl. Very good. So you see, guys, how could have have been used in this in this uh music, in this song. Remember that could have was possible in the past, but it did not happen. So this paragraph, this this phrase on. You see, you could, it could have been so beautiful. It could have been so right. You could have been my lover every day of my life. But may I ask you guys, at the end, this guy, it was Tiffany's lover, yes or no? Was no. she in a relationship with this guy? No. No, why not? Mm, it didn't happen. It didn't happen, exactly. It, 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 it was supposed to be a beautiful in the past, right? But it didn't happen. So you see how, how could is used or it can be used in a daily base? This is, guys, uh, we can say a positive way. But let's continue because there's more about this. What about, ah, this is what it comes, Tanita and everybody. Do you remember that I was telling you about the contract way to say that? Okay, so this is really nice and I, I had to put it here because I want you to pay focus on this. Native speakers often do not pronounce their past tense models as clearly as Tiffany. Okay, the ideal way to pronounce it is what we see here, guys. Could have been, right? Could have been or could have been or could have everything. You see, you listen the have, right? You can listen the have. And you, and you notice in the writing way. But the truth is, guys, that when you listen a native speaker, it's not easy to understand when they use the have. For example, you could have been usually get contracted. Could have been, or even could have been. Could have been. Right, Freddy? Could have been. So that's why I, I put that emphasize, guys, because the native speakers, when you listen to them speak, they contract the have. So you can listen to them, could have been, or could have been. Could have, could have been. And that means could have been. So this is really important for uh, understand when they, when they speak in case of listening. If you, if you listen, could, could been or could have been, that means could have been, okay? Now you know that. And it's really, really important. Okay, remember, remember Marlo Brandon, Telmita and Erwin, remember that? Marlo Brandon was also an old actor, but it was really good one. So I don't know if you saw that classic movie on the waterfront, I don't know if you saw that, but there was a character and Mr. Brandon played the, ter the Terry Ballax that was our John Boxer. And this is a phrase that he used. So do me a favor, um, Freddy's. Do me a favor. Can you please be so kind to, print, to read for me this part when you said you don't until bomb? You don't understand. I could have 
I could have had a class. I could have been a counter. No, a counter yeah. or contender? Contender. I could have been somebody instead of a bomb. Okay, do me a favor. Yeah. Read it like, look at me. Hey, look at me. <laughs> okay, no, but look at me face to face. Oh, I need to go to No, of course, virtually, of course, virtually talking. Okay, so do me a favor. Try to say that expression, but you're a John Boxer. And you are saying that to me. <laughs> so say it, say it. Say What's it with pretty? passion. Oh, man, I'm not a singer. <laughs> no, with passion. No, with no singer. You don't understand? I could have. No, I could have. I just got a ton switch. Right don't now. worry, you. Hey, but take out your hands. I already did. Okay, now I want to see ya. You want to be a, you're a John Boxer and you're about to, to become the next what? Muhammad Ali? No way. <laughs> yeah, but, but you know what? They do not consider that you're a good contender. So that is why you express. Go ahead. You don't understand. I could have had class. I could have been contender. I could have been somebody instead of boom. But you know what? You you pronounce I could I could have and I had could have had. I I want you to say a coulda, coulda, coulda. Say it one more time for me. I know you can do it. Like a white person? Yeah, like an native speaker, come on. You know what, you can use an attitude. You don't understand. I could have had in a class. You got that, that's what I need. I could have had class. I could have been contender. That's what you want or? Yeah, but the whole phrase, please. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, it's exactly that attitude. That attitude is the one that I need. A bad attitude. <laughs> yeah, a bad attitude. Like, for example, when you're fighting, like, you don't understand. I could have had glass. I could have been a contender. I could have been somebody instead of bomb. You know, that's what I need. Oh, okay. Attitude. You don't understand. I could have had class. I could have been a contender. I could have been somebody instead of a bomb. Very good. Okay, so now do me a favor. Yeah. Don't read. Don't, don't read. Oh, yeah, of course you will. Yes, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Would well, you want me to send it to you? Said, um... Uh-huh. Do you understand? You I could have got a class. I could have been a contender. I could have... I could have a class, I could have been contender. I could have been better. Uh-huh, uh-huh, exactly. So now, watch in front of the camera. Oh, if I'm reading my mind. <laughs> don't read your mind. I don't want you to like, I could have been, a, I could not, because you will sound like a robot and I don't want that. Imagine that you feel frustrated because nobody pick you because they consider that you're a John boxer. And you're frustrated. <laughs> and you want to express your emotion to all of us. How you will say that? Think oh, about when you're wife. mad, when you are frustrated about something, how you react? I'll get pissed off. Okay, go ahead. No, but don't take yeah, it too literally. <laughs> Why am I say said too much more? Five words. No, no, skip that. Keep that. We're going to be beep, beep. No. It's like, do exactly when you interrupt me. Exactly that. When I interrupt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like that, like that. Yeah, like that. Go ahead. You can do it. I never interrupt you. Well, I have my doubts. Go ahead. <laughs> you just got me <laughs> <laughs> continue you can do it just say what you remember about that phrase it doesn't have to be exactly the phrase
I could, I could have been, no. You don't understand. You don't understand, I could have been a better person. I could have been a contender. I remember the next. Yeah, very really good, very really good, but that's good. That's good. I don't remember the next part. See, yeah. I show memory. I could have been a, a bomb. You remember that? I could have been a bomb. Very good. Not too bad, Freddie. Excellent job. Very good. So you see how how could have, but could have been sometimes is pronounced like in an abbreviative way. You can say Cuban or you can say could have. Right? I remember mm -hmm. memory. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I know that. <laughs> but good job. Good job. All righty. Delmita, do you think your your microphone? Thank you, Freddie. Do you think your microphone is working fine right now? Yeah? Uh -uh, I cannot listen to you, sorry. Hey, no. Do you listen to her, guys? Maybe it's my problem, I don't know. Can you listen to Telmita? No. No, All right. Don't worry, Telmita, try to fix it. Take your time, don't worry. But I'm, I'm going to ask you to participate, don't worry. You will have your opportunity. Let's see who else. Doris, do me a favor. Can you please be so kind to continue reading to form the negative? For the negative, which is models used not between could and have. Could not have means that something was impossible in the past. For example, she could have not have uh, been. Uh, uh, again, she could. She could not have uh, been. She could not have been on that flight because I just stopped, I just saw her at court. Very good, do me, one, do me a favor, one more time, you can do it. She could not have been on that flight because I just saw her at work. Very good, more self-confident, you can do it, Doris. She could not have been on that flight, say it. She could not have been on, on that flight because I just saw her at work. Almost perfect. Do, don't 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 do any stop on. I just I I just saw her. I just saw her at work. Just listen carefully. She could not have been on that flight because I just saw her at work. You can do it. She could not have been on that flight because I just saw her at work. Okay, almost perfect, almost perfect, Doris. Very good. Now mm -hmm. do me a favor, don't do any stop. Okay. She could not have been on that flight because I just saw her at work. Very good. Good job, my girl. Excellent. Good job. Very good. Thank you so much, Doris. All right. Let's continue with Joshi. Yes, tell me. Can you please be so kind to continue reading for me? Okay. Which part? Which says the uh, defense popular, lawyers. Right? Okay, sorry. The defense lawyer often use school know how to argue for a client's innocence. Again. Defense lawyer often use school know how to argue for a client's innocence. Again. Okay. Defense lawyer often use school no hat to argue for a client's innocence. Again. Hey, teacher, lawyer... you will kill me. Hmm? Okay, sorry. Defense lawyer often use school no hat to argue for a client's innocence. Uh, kind of. Okay. Uh, just, li just listen carefully. Argue. 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 Wow, okay. Clients. Okay, I will try again. Uh, clients, clients' innocence. Innocent. And if you, for example, you have, you would like to emphasize that they use this, you will need to like do like, a, you, you will need to like higher or up or low or loud a little bit. For example, you said defense lawyer often use could not have to argue for a client's innocent. You said could not have mm -hmm. because you're emphasize that phrase that is common use for a lawyer to when they are defending a, an, an innocent client. So do go ahead, you can do it. Defense lawyer, sorry, I will start. Defense lawyers you often use will know how to argue for a client's innocence. Uh-huh. 
defense lawyer often use could not have, could not have to argue for a client's innocence. You can do it again. Defense lawyer often use could not have to argue for a client's innocence. Very client's innocence. Client's innocence. Client's innocence. Client's innocence. You can do it one more time and I know you will do it right. Go ahead. Completely? Completely. Ah, okay. The defense lawyer often use could not have to argue for a client's innocence. Again, because you're missing the S in lawyers and you're missing the S in clients. Go ahead. Defense lawyers often use could not have to argue for a client's innocence. Very good. Now you were talking, girl. Now we're talking. Excellent. Good job. Continue reading, please. A popular accomplishment in English is I could have said it better myself. You could say this when you like the way somebody said something. It is a way to show a strong agreement. A strong agreement. 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 Very um, good. Very good. You see, guys, we are reviewing the use of could, the negative way, but also we are uh, practicing our reading because reading is really, really important. Now, guys, I just want to emphasize something. Remember, we can also put a um, negative way for past, but remember when to put it. You use the subject, you use could, then we put the particular in not to emphasize the negative, and then we're going to put have the past participle of the verb and the complement. Take a look at the structure, subject, could not have past participle on the verb and a complement. Are we good? Okay. Let's should we move on? Yeah, right. Okay. Guys, before we move on, do you have any questions related to could? You can ask it. Feel free to ask it. Where is the difference when you contract could a with the, uh, for example, cura and cura, with have and with, uh, with cura with the quote and a, or cura well, Basically, with... it's exactly the same. The per, if, 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 you, if, if, for example, you said could have been is the regular way, right? Yes. You can say could have been, yes. and it's the contractive way of apostrophe v, v e, right? Yes. And could have been, and could have been, is exactly the same as I'm saying could have been. The difference is the pronunciation. Oh. Because I, I emphasize that, Fernando, because the native speakers, most of the native speakers, they do not uh, pronounce clearly the word have, like we are learning. That would be nice if everybody will say, do, do that, but Guess what? It's not. So they most of the time they're using an abbreviation and contraction way. So I just put you these two examples because I don't want you to like, when you listen to that person, you're, what this person is saying? What does it mean? When you listen to that, you will know, ah, if he's saying could have been, but that means could have been. So you will get familiar with that pronunciation. That's yes, uh, what I want. For example, I I have heard about in, in the movies. In the movie, for example, mm -hmm. when some someone is angry, they, mm -hmm. they he doesn't contract the, the words for emphasis. For emphasis, I think, for example, they pronounce the the the, the, the complete sentences could have, but to to be emphasis on the on the negative part, we have not, for example. Ah, in the negative part, it's really hard to contract it. But if the, uh, in the, the positive way, yes. And it depends. For if, you, if you listen, for example, a black guy, um, a native speaker guy, like, they will use the contraction way every day. Okay. If you listen to native one, yes. I'm talking about native people. Because there are some other people for different countries learning English but they do not pronounce it because that's not the way they pronounce it. But the native speakers, they do. You can ask for this. <laughs> yes, because they do. So that is that was your doubt? 
Yes. Yeah. Thank you. No, they thank always. you for asking. What, Freddy? They always do. They always do, right? Yeah. They always do. Yes. You know what? It's because American guys, they love contractions. They love simple ways to say things. That's why they use a lot of phrasal verbs. Ooh, yes. To express their sentence and everything. Shall we move on? Yeah? yeah. Okay. Let's do it. Now, guys, take a look at the would have. Would have. Uh, let's see. Who can help me? Andresito, do me a favor. Yes, teacher. Can you please be so kind to read for me the first paragraph about would have? Okay. Let's move on to would have. Let's move on. Let's have. move on to would have. Let's move on. Oh, sorry. Let's move on to would have. Mm -hmm. would, would have is a bit more difficult because it has two common structures. structures. Mm -hmm. The first is with that. I would have A, but I had to be. Mm -hmm. Use this structure to show that you wanted to do something in the past, but you could not. Exactly. Hey, guys, this is very good. Thank you so much. So, guys, that would have is what, because you use it when you want to talk about something that you wanted to do in the past, but it was not possible for you to do it. You could not do it. Even though you want to do it, it was not possible for you to do it. And we have an example. Can you please continue reading for me, Andresito? I would have called, but there was no phone service. Mm -hmm. I would have loaned you, loaned you the money, but I didn't have any. Very good. Guys, in the first one, I would have called but there was no phone service. What happened there? Is that this person wanted to call? Yes, yes. or no? Yes. What yes. happened? There, there's no. no phone service. There was no phone service. What about this one? I would have loaned you the money, but I didn't have any. Does that person wanted to uh, give you some money? No. Yes. Yes. Yes, but uh, no. Has, uh, I, ha I would have, have loaned. Loan, guys, is prestar. I would have loaned you the money. Pero no tenía la plata para hacer. Right? Mm -hmm. Also, guys, this we already have seen that. We would have also forms that resolve clause of a past and real condition. This is something that we already have, have seen. Remember that? Do me a favor. Continue reading, please. Okay. If I had no day no, they were vegetarians. How do you pronounce? Vegetarians. Vegetarians. I would have made a salad. Uh huh. Remember this conditional, guys. If I had known, this is the first, the third conditional. Okay, continue reading, please. Okay. You can you can always reverse conditional sentences. Mm -hmm. It would have come first. There is no coma. Uh -huh. We already saw that, guys. Remember that when you put the situation in the first and then the condition, there is no comma. Can you please continue reading? I uh, would have made a salad if I had known they were vegetarians. Vegetarians. Okay. Vegetarians. Very good. Excellent. Guys, right now, so far so good. Do you have any doubts, any questions, and any vocabulary that you wanted to double check for us really quickly? Everything it's okay? So far so good? I'm just asking you because we're about to do an exercise. So I just want to know that. We're good? Shall we move on? Okay, let's move on. Okay, and then I need should have. Uh, thank you so much, um, Andresito. Let me check. Blanqui. Blanqui. Yes, I'm here. Can you please be so kind to read for me? Should have, if you don't mind. Sorry. Can you please be so kind to read for me? Should have. Yeah. Go ahead. Should have means. Ah. Yes. Just finally. Finally, let's look at should have. Uh huh. Should have means that something did not happen, but we wish it it happened. It had happened. Mm hmm. 
we use should have to talk about past mistakes. Mistakes. Uh, what, mistakes, yes. A worried more, mother might say, I was so worried about you, you should have called. Mm -hmm. should, have, should have is common in apologies. For example, I'm sorry that I'm late for work. I should have woke up, woken up earlier. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying when I when I get late. Don't tell me. <laughs> okay, it's a it's a it's a mere coincidence. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you might remember. Oh my God! How can I pronounce that? Do your best. Yeah, with the video. You, tenant Dan. Uh -huh. We, oh my God! I never have ever seen Forrest Gun, but no, really, no way! Come on! <laughs> yeah, oh, in the okay. movie, in the movie Forrest Gun, in the movie Dan loses, 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 loses both of his legs in the Vietnam War. Mm -hmm. He would have died, but Forrest ha saved him. Mm -hmm. Listen for should have as Dan confronts Forrest. Mm -hmm. You listened to me. We all have a destiny. Nothing just happens. It's all part of a plan. I should have died out there with my men, but now I'm nothing but a cripple. Crip, Do me a favor. Say it one more time, but with more like, if, if imagine that you are that person who lost both legs and okay. Mr. Forrest has saved you. So I just want you to say that with... um. With feelings, with some, yes. With some acting, okay. Uh huh. Okay. Please, if you don't mind. Okay, okay. You listen to me. Ah, okay. We all yeah. have a destiny. Nothing just happens. It's all part of a plan. I should have died out there with my men, but now I'm nothing but a cripple. All right. Very good. Excellent. <laughs> good job. My God, you are a tremendous actress. Yeah, I, I'm going to. I I think you wanna. <laughs> you wanna? I think yeah. I will. I, if I work in Hollywood, I will hire you. Okay. Thank Very you. good. <laughs> no, that's good. Thank you. Thank you so much, guys. Okay. Do me a favor. For this, what Miss Blanky has just read, how just read, or how just written. Do you know all the words, or you have a doubt of what is the meaning of a particular word? Cripple. Cripplet. Okay, I'm going to tell you what does it mean, but do me a favor, read this expression and tell me what do you think cripple means? That Fernando, the only William, read it, read it, read the sentence. You listen to me, read it for yourself. Okay. Guess what's the meaning of that word? For me? Uh huh. Uh, that is the name. Of, uh, of, of the people that doesn't have the two legs. Of the person, of a person. Of a person, yeah, that doesn't uh -huh. have the left. Uh, yeah, but what is the meaning in Spanish? Uh, There's cojo. a meaning? Mm, no, really, no. No cojo. Yeah, here because, Spanish, because Because yeah. cojo, you have your both legs, but one of them doesn't work properly, right? Uh huh. Minus yeah. valida, mm, similar, but no, not really. Lisiado. Exactly, lisiado. Crippled is lisiado. Because he doesn't have both legs, remember? So crippled is lisiado. There's a new word, you see? Pam para tu matata. Crippled. Lisiado. This is the first time that you listen to that expression? Lisiado? Yes. Yeah. The first, time. first time? So you see? Yes. It? You're learning a new vocabulary. How you pronounce how you spell it? Remember? C R I P P P P L E. L E. Yes. Very good. Cripple. Lisiado. War cripple. Lisiado de guerra. Remember? Very good. All right. So you see, guys, that the past models is a common use in daily basis. You can use it. For example, we have seen an example 
of a movie. We have seen examples of uh, songs. We have also seen the two possible ways that a native speaker could said that, and that will help you like to improve your listening and speaking. All righty. So now tell me something. Uh, and I'm going to send it to you guys right now through the WhatsApp. Uh, I will send it to you like review. I will provide it to you, uh, could have, would have, or should have, and I will give it to you like um, like a little, I can say review or recap, how to put that in positive way, in negative way, in a question way. And just my IT department would let me know once you have it, okay? So let me just a couple of minutes. It's, it's just for you to have it as a friendly reminder if you would like to consult this in the future. Do you have it already? Yeah? Yes. Yes. All right. So now, guys, I want you to help me. Okay. It will be, we are 926 right now. So I'm going to send you to, we're going to do the, the writing practice. Okay? I want, okay, we already made an explanation. So to, right now is the time that you practice the writing skills. So let's see how many sentences I have. Allow me just a couple of minutes. Okay. Okay, I have eight sentences. That, but I'm going to make two groups. That means that each member of the group, it will need to work on that one. Yeah. Or also you can you can if you want, you can assign each sentence to each member. Or if you want, you can work as a team. Whatever makes you feel comfortable. Okay. Whatever makes you feel comfortable. I'm gonna send it to you right now. The writing activity. This writing activity, you have only three possibles. Could have, should have, or would have. Positive or negative. All right. So just allow me a couple of minutes more. And the IT department will let me know once you receive it. Do you have it guys already? Yep. Yes, Take a look at the WhatsApp. Come on, Fernando. Shame on you. <laughs> All righty. So I'm going to divide it right now in two because we are 18. Uh huh. 18 right now. All right. So how many groups? Two of nine, right? Eighteen with you, teacher. Ah, so, so that means sev uh, seventeen. You right? Okay, okay. So yes. that means one group will be the nine, and one group will be of eight. Alrighty. Yes. So let me assign right now and accept the invitation. Work together. We're nine twenty eight. We're going to come back at nine thirty five. And where you go? Yes. We have to use cool. But would have, should have, or would have with plus the verbs in parentheses. Remember? Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. all that you gotta do. Okay. Past negative advice. Regret. Uh huh. Okay. Our neighbors. Advice. Say... Advice. Should. Should. Okay, Should. that's excellent. Good job. Is everything okay? Any doubts, any questions so far? So good? No mm. questions? Clear like water? Mm. <laughs> yeah. As the water, water. As the water, water. Okay, cool. So tell me, what's which are your doubts? No. Or everything, it's okay. Remember, mm. you can use could, should, or would plus have, plus the past participle of the verse. And 
Uh, take a look of the information that is in the sentence. For example, so, some of them is past negative advice, past advice, past possibility. You got to remember which one is press possibility, which one is press advice. Remember, should is press advice, right? So I will give you, you still have four minutes to finish. Okay. Do your best. I know that you can do it. <laughs> Okay, uh, hello. The, the first one is uh, past negative advice. Our neighbor shit. Mm -hmm. Our neighbors should have mm -hmm. cut down the tree in the garden. Sure, uh -huh. really shouldn't have regret. Shouldn't have a cut. And the second is human. Shouldn't have, uh -huh. yeah. shouldn't have cut. Cut, crocus. Cut. Cut, okay. We are going to work together, we all, yes. or? Yes. Okay, number one, uh, shouldn't. Should yeah. I have that. Number two, we children. Mm, that's the advice. The children. Should, the same. Should have do. Should have done. Done, done the homework last night. She'll have done. Yeah, it's the same. It's number three. Number three. I will. Mm -hmm. I will call. I. The same, right? Yeah, should bring my call. I should have bring my. Oh my god. The number. 21 is good. Yeah, I will have come came to see you. The 22 or the similar children? The 22 is <clears throat> similar to Pass possibility. Yeah. Good. Andrew could have gone to Cambridge University. Mm -hmm. The same, 23. G H T bro. bro my code twenty one the next one oh I my could, god I, I lost it. I could have come yeah mm -hmm. I, could, I could have come I would have come I would have come mm -hmm. I would have Came? No. Came. Came. To see you. Oh. Willingness. Willingness. 
I will. I will have come. Have you finished? No, no. no. I come on. No way. Really? <laughs> how many yeah. have you done? Four. Four. And how many is missing? Four, right? Yes. <laughs> because half and half. Okay. I will give you like three more minutes. I think it's fine. Okay. Okay. All right. Let me double check the other guys. Have you finished? We yes. are the last one. And oh my goodness, you are completely faster. You're like a speedy Gonzalez. Yes. All right. <laughs> Did you miss me? Uh, I, I feel, remember that was a, the mask phrase, right? Did you miss me? Remember that? When they were in a bar? All right. So mm -hmm. almost finished, right? I will give you like a couple of minutes. Will that work? Yeah? Okay. okay. Perfect. All righty, cool. So the last one is they who they would have came to have breakfast with us. Why they went to bed? Mm -hmm. Okay. We finished. So you have finished, okay. Let's come back together, okay? All right, let's come back together. Let me double check what you got. Uh -huh. I do have Freddy's, Madeline, Jervin, Fernando, Mr. William, Alexandra. All righty. Amalia. All right, cool. There you go. We're missing some guys here. Okay, Doris is coming back. Yeah. Okay, cool. I have something in mind today that you cannot imagine. Yodile, yeah. All right, everybody's here. Welcome, guys. Welcome to the jungle. Is everybody here or we're missing? I think we're missing. Yeah, everybody's here. Okay. Let's share right now the screen and show me what you got. All right, cool. The first one. Volunteer, I do really appreciate your participation. You're willing to give a hand. Alexander, sorry, William, go ahead. <laughs> Okay, um, our neighbors, our neighbor shouldn't have, shouldn't have cut down the tree in their garden. It was a really beautiful tree. Very good. Oh my God. And you look so sad when you're saying that. That's cool. Are you, uh, <laughs> hey, are you agree with him guys? Yeah? Is that what you got? Yes. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yes. 19. Thank you so much, Fernando. Go ahead. The second one. Yes, sir. Uh, the children, the children uh, sh should should have done their homework last night. That should they wouldn't done. be. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. They then they wouldn't panicking on the way to school. 
Uh, do me a favor, read it again for me. Okay, the, sh the children sh should have done their homework last night. Mm -hmm. Then they wouldn't be panic panicking on the way to school. Very good. That's what I was waiting, panicking. All right, excellent. Good job. Very good. 20, thank you so much for participating, Madeline. Go ahead. Yeah, I'm really cold. Mm -hmm. I'm really cold. I ha I should have brought my coat. I should have. Uh -huh. Do me a favor. Now say it again, but not in a tone of voice that you are reading. Say it again if you feel it. Okay. I'm really cold. I should have brought my coat. Very good. I should have brought my coat. Excellent. Good job. Number 21. Tell me that what you have for us. Your microphone is off. <laughs> Don't worry, Telvita. That's okay. That's okay. Is it is it working fine or is it not working good right now? No? Don't worry. Don't worry. That's okay. That's okay. But you can send that the you can send the, the answer in writing if you want. Yes. Do your best. In the meantime. I will ask Doris. Doris, what about 21? What do you have for us? 21. Mm -hmm. um, I, I would have came to see you. I didn't know you were ill. I would have came to see you. I didn't know you were ill. Aha, past willingness. Okay. Uh, are you agree with Doris? Guys, Freddy, Sandracito, Blanquita, Francisco, Jesse. Yes. Yes. Yes? Yeah. But, you, but she said, I would have came. Come. 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 Remember, come, K, okay, come. Past participle. Very good. Excellent. Kenya, what about number 22nd or 22? I knew he could have been going to Cambridge University, but he decided to travel instead. Aha, uh -huh. but do me a favor, try to pronounce that again, please. And you have, I'm sorry, and you could have gone to Cambridge University, but he decided to travel instead. But he, de he decided or he decided? He decided. Okay, again, you can do it. And you to have gone to Cambridge University, but he decided to travel instead. Very good. That in good tone of voice. Excellent. Good job. Glendy, what about number three? What you have for us? Okay. 23. They could be being. They could have been. Similar to me. Mm -hmm. They were absolutely lovely. Uh -huh. But you said the, it's past negative. It's past negative. They could. could. They couldn't or? Could not. Could not what? Have been. Could not have been. Very good. Excellent job, Glendy. Thank what you. about? Thank you. What about number 24, Yoshi? You should have bought a meal at, at the shop. We don't have any meal. Aha. Uh -huh. uh, do it again, please, because I want you to uh, uh, pronounce the S termination. <laughs> okay, teacher. You should have bought some meal at the shops. We don't have any meal. Very good. At the shops. Very good. Excellent. Good job. Thank you, Joshi. What about the last one, uh, Francisco? Francisco, Francisco, is Francisco is there? I don't think so. Francisco, 
I think Francisco has stood up and went for a cup of coffee. Fradis, what about you? What do you have for us for the last one? Fradis, good. Which one is the last one? Which one is the last one? The number 25, sir? Uh, because I see some letters Ash. after that. Number 25, that's why I was asking which one is the last uh -huh. one. Okay, go ahead. They would have come to breakfast with us, but they went to bed too to bed too late. Uh -huh. I, don't I don't know why I have sometimes have some problems seeing that screen. Uh, really? Will you let me to make it a little bit bigger? No, I think I I got closer to the computer. What about that? What about now? So much better? Yeah, it's over, yeah. Okay, cool. Go ahead. It's past wellness, so mm -hmm. they would have come. No, they would have came. Uh -huh. Came or come? Past participle. Came. <gasps> what is the no, past participle? No, no, they would have come. Uh -huh. to us, but they went to bed too late the night before. Very good. Excellent. Good job. Hey, how was it? Was it much better? The writing? Nice. Yeah. It was a little bit easier, right? Yeah. After the explanation. Okay. Would you like to, to play some game? We still have time. Yes. We still have time. Yeah. And we're yeah. going to play broken telephone, but with this particular uh, topic, okay? Yeah. <laughs> so you gotta be careful. Hopefully, everybody will participate. And I'm going to send a message. Read it fast. And send it fast. Okay? Please. Okay. <laughs> Listen carefully. It's going to be the first one. Okay, I'm going to send it directly. Joshi, you're going to be the first victim. Sorry, the first participant, okay? <laughs> okay. I'm going to be the first victim. Okay. Okay. Joshi, you're only going. One. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> only one. The only one. The only, the only one. The only one. You're so mean. Yeah. I'm I'm ready. <laughs> okay. Con concentrated, please. <laughs> okay. Joshi, you're going to be the first one. You're going to pass the information to, and let me double check, to Andres. Andres will pass the information to Madeline. Madeline will pass the information to Jessica. Jessica will pass the information to Blanky. Blanky will pass the information to Jarvin. Jarvin will pass the information to Freddie. Freddie will pass the information to Kenya. Kenya will pass the information to Fernando. Fernando will pass the information to Doris. Doris will pass the information to Erwin and Erwin will send the information to William. So William will be the last one. So you gotta be like this. Okay. Tell me that I want you to participate, but I think your microphone, it doesn't work good. So don't worry about it, okay? Don't worry. But you will have so much fun. I promise that. I promise that. You will see, you will see. Uh -huh. Andres reporting. Okay, very good. Okay, are you guys ready? Teacher. What, yes. Jesse? Can you repeat? I repeat. Okay. Yes. Uh, okay, I'm going to pass the information to Joshi, right? Then Joshi will pass the information to Andres. Andres will pass the information to Madeline. Madeline will pass the information to Kenya. Kenya will pass the information to Jessica. Jessica will pass the information to Blanky. Blanky will pass the information to Jarvin. Jarvin will pass the information to um, Freddy's. Freddy's will pass the information to Fernando. Fernando will pass the information to Doris. Doris will pass the information to Erwin and Erwin will send the information to William. Okay? Yeah, ready? Yes. All righty. 
So let me check it out. Who's going to be the first big? Ah, Joshi, right? Okay, bear with me, Joshi. Mm -hmm. Let's see, where are you, Yoshi? Let me check. Ah, yes, I have you here. I am the prettiest one. Ah, uh, uh, oh yeah, the prettiest one, okay. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to send you the, the message show. I'm going to silence my microphone, okay? Okay, I will do it too. Thank you. I sent that already, Yoshi. Hurry up. Okay, I already sent a message to Joshi. Joshi is going to send it to Kenya. Or not to Andres, sorry. Did you send it already, Yoshi? Joshi. Is Joshi there? Andresito, have you received it? Not yet, teacher. <gasps> Joshi, what happened? What happened to Joshi? I already sent it. Okay, you relax. Ah, okay, hurry up. <laughs> Hi. Yes, I'm sorry, teacher. The thing is that I am from my cell phone and I had the same problem. Uh, ah, I, okay. I don't know what happened, but, but uh -huh. I can think. I got it, got it. Now I got it. Okay, but you already sent it to Andresito. Okay, cool. Okay, All right, cool. All right, so Andresito, it's all yours. Then okay. You, got, you no. gotta send it to Kenny, I think. Yeah. Okay. No, no, no. Ah, to Madeline? Madeline is going to send it to me. Ah, it's okay. So Andresito is going to send to Madeline, Madeline to Kenny. Okay, cool. Thank you. Hurry up, Andresito. No, teacher. You did? Okay, cool. Madeline? <laughs> no, I'm, sorry. I'm sorry, Madeline. What are you about to, to hear? Okay, sorry for that. <laughs> okay. Don't take it personally. <laughs> I guess that my I I I was thinking that Madeline supposedly was the last one. And uh, not really. Mm -hmm, but no. According no, no. to that kind uh, of message. <laughs> uh, according, to, but no. I think the last one should be the one who's originally sent the message. Mm, okay. <laughs> For one reason, you'll see. <laughs> Okay, did you listen already, Madeline? Have you sent a message to Kenya, please? In this moment, yes. Okay, sorry for the message. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> Joshi, don't be so mean. Yeah. The only one, remember? It's going to be the only one, too. Yes. <laughs> You did meddling already? You did send it to Kenya? Yes. Okay, Kenya, you should receive it and you send it to Jessica.
It's really, I want to know where the broken telephone appears. I will just, I'm going to double check something, Raymond. Who does not provide a good, a, a good message or there's like a lack of communication. Let me double check. Mm -hmm. Finish, Kenya? No, one moment. One moment, Harry. Teacher, you're so excited. Yes. So for a rare reason. <laughs> My baby's here. Done. Done. Okay. To so Jessica, right? Yes. Okay, yes, Jesse. Sir. Okay, Jesse. Hurry up. Done? Not yet. Jesse, hurry up. Jesse, finish. I'm sending to Blanquita. Blanca. Okay, cool. Tell me when you receive a Blanqui. Okay, but not yet. <laughs> I know, she's just sending it to you right now. Okay. I think you just receive it, right? No, no, yes. Jesse, hurry up. Come on. Almost. Said, I'm Almost. sending you, but, but, but I, 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 I heard the disturbing. <laughs> Come on. Send it. Send it to Blanquita. I send it. Finally. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Jesse. Okay, Blanqui. Listen and hurry up because you gotta send it to Jarvin. And Jarvin to Freddy's. Mr. William is about to sleep, so hurry up, my girls. Ready. Uh, I already sent to Jarvin. To Jarvin. Okay, Jarvin. Did you receive it? Thank you, Blanqui. Yes, I received it. Okay, so just uh, read it or listen to it and then send it to Freddy's. Thank you.
Dom. Very good. Thank you. Okay, pass it to Freddy's. There's a problem. I reproduce it, but it has no sounds in no audio. Okay, Jarvin, send it one more time. He has to write, teacher, because he's maybe he's using his phone. Ah, ready? No, I reproduce um Jarvin's audio, but it's on so like on mute on silent. I don't know. Can you say it one more time, Jarvin? I don't. I don't. Okay, thank you. I'm Erwin. <laughs> I like what you're texting into the WhatsApp, guys. It's on Fernando's hand already. Uh, yes, you gotta send it to. Uh, no, I think you gotta send it to. Yes, Fernando, Fernando to Erwin, and Erwin finally to William. You sent it already, Freddy's? Yeah. It was okay, cool. Already. Thank you. I would like to listen the last. <laughs> message <laughs> uh, uh, yeah i know me too <laughs> and the reaction of william aha uh -huh, exactly <laughs> that's what i'm expecting for <laughs> so that's why joshi did not understand oh, i already sent okay sent to, to, to erwin. erwin okay erwin you already received mr fernandez message Listen carefully, yes. but, but put your microphone off, please. We don't, we, don't, we don't have to listen to you. Okay, good. When you are sending, send it to William. <laughs> this is going to be so much fun. <laughs> yeah, hopefully, hopefully there's no broken telephone today. Hopefully, but I got my doubts. Did you send it already? Okay, to William, right? Thank you, Erwin. You are my best. <laughs> okay, William, can you please listen? Okay, wait a minute. Okay, and then say it, okay? Okay, William, tell us what was the message that you received? This is going to be so much fun, Telmita. Uh -huh. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm going to put you in, in the main camera. Okay, so tell us what was the message about? I didn't get this teacher, but it said- Okay, uh, say, what you, say what you have. Andres have asked Madeline if she have cut to the movie. No, my goodness, <laughs> guys! Who no. did the broken telephone? Come on, guys! I know, know. I mean, huh? I know who's the broken telephone. <laughs> who's the broken telephone, Blanky? Guess who's the broken telephone here? Gianari. Yes. Who? <laughs> Gianari. She told me. The, the wrong name. <laughs> January. 
no, yeah, because no. I, I know that, that you are talking about William and and, uh -huh. and when I received the message of, of Ganari, she told me Andres. Andres. <laughs> no, no, no. Andres is not possible because Andres is married. <laughs> so no way that's not a possibility I the message. <laughs> can you repeat the message I sent a message to Joshi Joshi what was the original message okay the original message was I think Madeline should have said yes is William asked her to go to the movies with him with uh -huh. no, I said uh, 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 co close because I, I have used Two past models, could and should. I can say, um, I think Madeline could have said yes if William should have asked her or invite her to the movies. Oh it's my God, same. can you imagine? Put the bracket tell over here. Was the first. Ush. Joshi. <laughs> Joshi, no. because she. <laughs> She used, he used, should, and, no, uh, and she Andres can tell you, Andres can tell you the truth. I transfer the no, message sorry. correctly, right? <laughs> Andres, she she said, yes, that. please, you are between these two beautiful ladies. <laughs> <laughs> Andres? <laughs> yes, uh, she said, Madeline. <laughs> So, oh my Lilian, God, I don't know you, when. You see the original message? I don't know when came to the, to the message. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, on board. I don't get it. I think Freddy's. Freddy's said he was the one who did a broken Taliban. No. The nah? only one. The only one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was not. 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 Okay. <laughs> okay guys one. you see we put it we have put in practice today's lesson all right so I, I know that some of you are still sleepy some of you couldn't participate like Telmita, but don't worry Telmita, you will participate tomorrow because I, I, this teacher has a lot of gains here in the memory so on my brain so you cannot imagine i know you are being tired Thank you so much for being here, guys, and for participating. I love to see you every class because not only shows your commitment, it shows that um, you wanted to be here with us, which is really nice. Okay, I know that you're tired and you wanted to go to sleep like Fernando and Erwin, maybe. <laughs> All right. So um, let's see. I'm going to stay with Amelia today and hugs and kisses. Have a lovely night. Bye. That means bye. bye. <laughs> Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye, Blanky. Okay, Blanky doesn't want to go. Come on. Blanky is a one on one session. Blanky. Bye. I <laughs> don't worry. I think she's about to leave. Don't worry about that. Okay, tell me, Amelia, how's your day going? So far, so good. Yeah, it's pretty good. And hey. this, I don't know if you can see it. What's I was doing my homework. Your homework? Yeah, about the I don't, I don't know how to say the whole technical. A technique drawing. Yeah. yeah. Technique drawing, yeah. Really? About what? About, um, it's a isometrical. Isometric? Isometric? Yeah, isometric. It's a draw, isometric. It's an isometric draw. Isometric draw, mm -hmm. yeah. And it was hard because I don't get more instructions, so mm -hmm. I need to do it by myself. I oh. just watch videos and practicing and making mistakes one and one more day so you but gotta buy a lot of paper yeah but okay. but, I, but uh -huh. I buy i bought a libreta a libre uh-huh with a lot of pages so oh, yeah. okay so that yeah. good is official yeah. or letter pages official right in no it's a a4 ah is this is, is it a special paper 
Yeah, is in special mm. medidas. I don't know. Measurements. Measurement. Yeah. And did, did you did it? Did you do it uh, like with a specific type of pencil? Yeah, I need to use B or H two. Ah, uh -huh. because I need to do a lot of. How do you say trazos? Yeah, lines. Lines. Yeah, I need to do mm -hmm. a lot of lines with different. Uh, Measurement. Ah, okay. With measurements. Uh huh. Ah, I remember that. I, uh, well, I did not study anything related to math, right? But I remember that um, I used. I I'm a I'm journalist, and there was a subject related to image and communication. So actually, I had to go to diseño, mm -hmm. right, and bought a different type of materials, of course, to do that because I was learning how to do like different kind of lights and darkness parts and everything. Yeah. So you know what, what was my problem? That my hands sweat a lot, a lot. And with that type of pencils, oh my goodness. I was like, I don't know, I had to put like some toilet paper to do the, the drawing and everything, because if not, it's a completely disaster. And I had to start all over again. So I yeah. love that class, but at the same time, it was really stressful for me. Yes, because uh, I don't know how to consume it a lot of time. It takes a lot of time. Yeah. It I know. It takes a lot of time. I know, I know, it's, it, especially if you, because you, you need to present a clean work, right? Without any yeah. mistakes, oh, you know, oh my goodness, I'm sorry for you. <laughs> uh, but, you. No, but if you like it, that's great. And did you finish already? Yeah? No, no, no. I need to do it in my last uh, mm. prototype. I don't uh, know how to Like an it. exam? Yeah, it's not like activity. Ah, it's like activity. Oh, but that's mm -hmm. nice. I like it. Well, what you have shown me is it, really nice. So yes, hopefully. but it was really, it was uh -huh. difficult. I mean, I, I, I needed to watch a lot of videos. Yeah, that was the difficult part that you didn't have like um, more guidelines to do it, right? No, because I am at distance. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. I mean, my education is from my own because the oh. uh, catedraticos are not there. I mean, Someone really? you, yeah, someone you write, write, write. What? Write. They escribo. Yeah, you write. I write and they don't, I don't get an answer. Maybe uh -huh. two days or later, but it's late because I, mean, I need to uh, enter. Get, you to, yeah, to, to send or to give or to present. To present the, the activity. So it, wow. It's hard. I know it's hard. It well, hopefully that will open the the present yeah, classes. Maybe I don't know. No, I don't know. No, I well, know. I'm in distance because I'm working as well. Ah, so, of course, of course, it's really. Yeah. It, it will be like it's easier for do like that way, right? It will be a little bit harder. Yes, because I work working at day and at night. I need to watch all the mm -hmm. classes, so. I know. But I, I, I am optimist and I think that I we can, well, all, all the people that are, are we are starting now, mm -hmm. I think that we can do it. I mean, it, it's hard, I know, but uh, there are people that achieve it. So, yes, and you will. <laughs> and you will. Yeah. yeah, I'm so happy. I'm so proud of you. Good job. And you're still doing English classes. Wow, girl, you got to take a lot of vitamins to move on. <laughs> yes, it's because I, just, I like your classes well mm. that's what i'm about to ask you do you have any feedback for me do you consider that is uh we need to like do some more type of exercises you still have doubts on some topics i want your feedback and i don't get a feedback really because i really like it the, the classes that you provide me i mean we work all the area so, but I would like to to practice more of my listening. Okay. Because I remember the, the first the first classes, I I really get a, got I really got a challenge when I when I was when we were practicing the, the listening. Okay, I will. All right. So you are you need more listening activities. 
Okay. Yes. Definitely. Because I like it. It's like a challenge. It's a so, challenge uh -huh. for you. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to bring more of them. Okay. I promise that. <laughs> okay. okay. Well, I'm go I have to say bye because I know that you still got a lot of work to do, but I really appreciate it that you took like an extra time for this one on one session. Okay. I really like it. Thank you so much. Okay. So let's see you tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. Let's bye. see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Bye bye.